All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Algebra Review 1.7, the distributive property. Uh, for the do now, feel free to pause it. I just need you to define PEMDAS uh, and resume the video when you're ready. Vocabulary, uh, to distribute, that's to give out or hand out, okay? When we distribute, we're gonna distribute that number outside of parentheses to the numbers inside the parentheses. So seven goes to three and seven goes to six. Really what this means when you draw these red arrows, it means to multiply, which is why it becomes seven times three plus seven times six. So the factor of seven is distributed to the three and the six. You distribute the number on the outside. The distributive property. So if we take a look, there's a few different ways that it can look. We can distribute the A on the left-hand side of our parentheses, but you can also distribute it on the right-hand side. You can also distribute when there's a minus instead of a plus inside of your parentheses. Same if it's on the back. <clears throat> so they give us some examples on the right-hand side. We're distributing the 3. So this becomes 3 times 10 plus 3 times 4. Here we're distributing a 7, seven or 5 times 7, and 3 times 7. On the front here, we're distributing a 9, 9 times 8 minus nine times two. Notice how the minus just stayed in the middle. And four times 28 minus four times six. So it says, what is the simplified form of five times x plus seven? Circle how you would read this expression. Since they use parentheses, they like to use the term the quantity. 5 times the quantity x plus 7. 5 times x plus 7 on the left-hand side would look like this. 5 times x plus 7. Which isn't what we have. Up top here. Sorry about that. So to simplify, which number would we distribute? Well, the number outside the parentheses is five, so we would distribute five. And we know that because it's outside the parentheses. So it says finish simplifying, five times x plus five times seven. Five times x is five x, and five times seven is 35. What is the simplified form of 12 times the quantity of 3 minus 1 sixth t. So we're going to write it first, 12 times 3 minus 1 sixth t. And I'm going to distribute the number outside of parentheses. Draw your arrows. 12 times 3 minus 12 times 1 sixth t. Well, 12 times 3 is 36, minus 12 times 1 sixth is the same thing as saying 12 over 6. 12 divided by 6 would be 2, so this becomes minus 2t. And there's your simplified form, 36 minus 2t. Using the property of negative one, 
what is the simplified form of negative the quantity a plus 5? Notice, there's a negative outside, but no number. <clears throat> okay, a negative sign in front of the parentheses means that the entire expression inside becomes its opposite. Because you'll be distributing a negative to everything on the inside. Really, in between the negative and the parentheses is really a negative 1. So you're going to distribute negative 1 to everything on the inside. Negative 1 times a and negative 1 times 5. Okay, your simplified form would be negative 1a minus 5. Just some more practice. You have a negative 8 outside of your parentheses. You're going to distribute it. Negative 8 times negative 4 and negative 8 times negative 3n. Negative 8 times negative 4, a negative times a negative makes a positive, which makes 32. And a negative 8 times a negative 3 makes a positive 24n. On the right side, you're going to distribute a negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 6p. And a negative 4 times 7. Negative 4 times a negative 6 makes a positive 24p. And a negative 4 times 7 makes a negative 28. Now, you can also distribute with fractions, right? You have a 3 fourths on the outside and a 1 over 2 on the inside. So distribute your 3 fourths. 3 fourths times x plus 3 fourths times 10. 3 fourths times x just becomes 3 fourths x. Combine them. 3 fourths times 10, if you type that into your calculator, is 7.5. Right. <clears throat> your last example, you're going to distribute 1 half. 1 half times a over 3 plus 1 half times 5. So 1 half times one-third in your calculator becomes one-sixth. You multiply across. Okay, so one over two times three makes six. One-sixth A plus half of five is two and a half, 2.5. Here's your exit slip. You're going to distribute one-fifth to everything on the inside. Definitely use a calculator. And I look forward to seeing your work when you submit. All right, feel free to reach out to me via Google Voice or email and definitely.